All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father, Bahasham, which is in the name Yahweh Shai, who is the name of his only begotten Son. And I want to give double honors to the, to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth to rule well. Uh, this is a Brother Izar. I'm going to be going into, uh, you know, the grace or the grace, Salakia, the grace that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai will save the elect with, you know, because a lot of people don't understand what, what the grace of the Lord is, thinking that it's just. Oh, okay, well, well, I'm going to say I believe in him and, and, and that's it, you know, when there's a whole lot more to it, you know, to being a disciple, to being a follower of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So I'm going to start off with Galatians chapter one, verse three. It says, grave grace be to you and peace from Yahweh the Father and from our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right. And it says, uh, who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from the present evil world you know and that's another thing where people say you know well you know well why why do you hate the world so much you know why do you dislike <clears throat> you know the world and why don't you want to build you know a family why don't you want to build you know a, a basically a, an empire a type of empire here in this world you know and it's because this world is evil man and like Romans says, all right, like the apostles say, like Yahabashim Yahushai says, abhor that which is evil and cleave unto that which is good, you know? And Yahabashai said, why callest thou me good when there is one good, all right? And he is the Father, you see, the Most High. So we ought to cleave unto the Most High and everything that, that is good that pertains to the Most High, you know? So praising Yahabashai is also part of praising Yahweh. You know, that's just what comes with it. <clears throat> <clears throat> so like it. it says uh, So let me reread verse 4 It says who gave himself For our sins Alright now whose sins is, is it talking about Alright because people like to throw in That whosoever And, and um, you know all You know they try to throw in all those uh, All those uh, Little words uh, Making it seem like it's for everyone You know like you have Boca Malone And you have certain people that That bring this out and, and they use the whosoever or the all or you know gentiles but they don't know the history and and they don't know really who is pertaining to you see they don't really know who is pertaining to which all in all it's really pertaining to the elect all right so he gave himself all right yeah how was i gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world now why why was they calling it evil all right, why were they calling it evil? Because the Romans were living good at that time. You know, the Greek lived good. You know, the Americans are living good. But who are the ones that are living, all right, in an in a evil world? Who are the ones that are against this world, man? The Israelites, all right? It was back then, and it is now too, all right? What people like to call the, the Hebrew Israelites as a movement, in reality, it's a people. All right. It's a bunch of Israelites waking up to the fact of who they really are. You know, and that's just something that people are or, or uh, you know, uh, the spirits are afraid of, you know, so they like to make fun of it and come up against it and, and say one and two third things about it. You know, not really understanding that we're bringing out the scriptures, man. We're, we're fighting this world with truth. And really, that's the only way you can. All right. So he gave himself for the sins of the elect. Lord willing, I'm part of that number. All right. But the brothers that are part of that number and the people that are part of that number. All right. Are the Israelites. All right. That 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 um, follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see. That he might deliver us from this present evil world. According to the will of the father or uh, of Yahweh. And our Father, to whom be glory forever and ever, a month. All right. So Yahweh has already ordained. You see, He has already ordained who is going to be uh, saved. 
This is Matthew 1 and 21. All right. And Yahweh Shai, according to Romans 9, Yahweh Shai came out of the seed of, of Jacob. All right. Which came out of the seed of, or Salakia. Yahweh Shai came out of the seed of Jacob. All right. And one of the sons of Jacob was David. Yahweh Shai came out of the seed of seed line of David. All right. So if you came out of Jacob and you came out of Judah and you came out of David, then you're a Judite. You see, if you came out of Judah, um, you're an Israelite. You see, so Yahweh Shai was an Israelite. You see, so in Matthew 1 and 21, and she shall bring forth a son. Now, who was the one that brought forth a son? When well, Revelations, it talks about this woman that was to bring forth a son. All right. And the devil was ready to devour the child, man, as soon as it was born. And that was Herod. You see? So that, that woman, all right, that, that was uh, ready to bring forth a son was uh, Mary. All right. And thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. All right. It doesn't say he shall save the whole world from their sins. It said his people. And who are his people? Whomsoever followeth Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and that's in the book of Revelations, uh, chapter uh, 14. You know, the elect men of Israel are the ones that can follow Yahweh Shai, whithersoever he goeth. All right. Those are the 144. Because not a lot of people are going to believe in Yahweh Shai the way that you should, man. This is John chapter 7. And, uh,. Let me start off at. Yeah, let me start off at one. I said after these things, Yahweh Shai walked in Galilee, for he he would not walk in Jewry, because the Jews sought to kill him. All right, so you had Israelites that despised Yahweh Shai, just like nowadays you have Israelites that despise Yahweh Shai, and they despise his men. All right, it says uh, now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand, you know, and the feast of tabernacles was in the book of Maccabees. Where, um, you know, the, the rededication to the temple was. All right. And people say, you know, the book of Maccabees is not canon. Well, how the hell is it not? If the Feast of Tabernacles was celebrated by Yahweh Shai and by the Israelites at that time, man. All right. And why was that? Because it was a, a part of a, one of the things that we do as Israelites, you know. Which is not to be confused with the pagan uh, Hanukkah, you know, because there's a di there's difference, you know, there's the Hanukkah that you celebrate according to scriptures called the Feast of Dedications or the Feast of Tabernacles, I should say, and uh, it, later it was changed to Hanukkah, you know, but when you look up Hanukkah, that's what they celebrate those uh, um, Edomites over there in Israel right now, that's what they celebrate, you know, and they put up nine candles and you know, they do all, all kinds of crazy shit, you know, so you have to really uh, watch out for 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 that type of confusion because they like to write down, you know, certain holidays that sound like the original holidays and that might confuse people, you know, but it, it's talking about the Jews were, were um, the Feast of Tabernacles was at hand. All right. Why? Because it belongs to Israel. All right. The Israelites celebrated that the heathen didn't celebrate that. It says, his brethren therefore said unto him, depart hence. All right. So Yahweh Shai's brethren said unto him, depart hence and go into Judea that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. All right. So he was like, well, get out of here. Go, go do that. Go do that thing that you say you were going to do. All right. Go do that little magical thing that, that, that you're supposedly doing. All right. It said, for there is no man that doeth anything in secret and he himself Seek it to be known openly. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world. All right. So if, if you supposedly are, are a, a Messiah, all right, if you're supposedly like some some type of special being, then go out there and show the people that you're some some type of special being. You know, go show the world what you are. As if for neither did his brethren believe in, in him. All right. So his brethren, his own brethren, all right, out of the flesh and blood of Mary and Joseph, his own brethren. They didn't believe in Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So if you come into this truth, that doesn't necessarily mean that your brethren are going to believe you. 
all right you might have some brothers you know you do have some brothers out there that have brothers that came into the truth with them you know but that doesn't apply to everybody man just like with yahweh shai you only had uh uh james you know that said uh then yahweh shai said unto them my time is not yet come but your time is always ready all right <laughs> so yahweh shai was like my time is not yet come man my time is not yet come to be who I'm supposed to be. All right. It says the world cannot hate you, but me it hateth because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. You know, so you might look at someone. All right. And it looks like they're living a good life. It looks like they're living a, a normal life. It looks like they're just being blessed. And then you're walking here and you every every single rock is hitting you. And you're like, damn, man, what the hell is going on? You know, but you have to remember who you work for, man. All right. If you're in this truth, you work for Yahab Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see, so it's not always going to be rainbows and sunshine and, 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 and lollipops and, you know, all this BS that the world wants you to think that following the Lord is going to be like. All right. It's not going to be something beautiful, man, because you have to drink of that cup. You know, it says, go you up unto the fat, unto the feast. I go not up yet unto the feast, for my time is not yet full to come. All right. So he, the reason why Yahweh Shai was saying this was not because they don't, you're not supposed to celebrate that day. All right. The reason why Yahweh Shai was saying this was so people were, whenever uh, uh, Yahweh Shai's brothers went up there, they would ask them like, hey, where, where, where's uh, Yahweh Shai? Where's your brother? Oh, he, he decided not to come. So they wouldn't look for him. Be as wise as a serpent and as harmless as a dove, man. You know, and these little stories, you can always take something important from these little stories, man. All right. Did Yahweh Shai stand up for the gospel? Yes, he did. He stood up for, for Yahweh the Most High. All right. But was he smart about it? You know, because you have some of these people that, you know, the cops will pull them over and they'll be like, man, fuck you. I'm an Israelite. You're going to be a fucking slave and this, this and that. You know, there's been countless videos that have came out of, of people saying that type of stuff. And finally, when the cop breaks the window and rips them out of the car, they start screaming out to you. How about Shimei was shy? Man, the Most High is not going to save you out of that. That's why he told you, man. He gave you instructions from the beginning. Be as smart as a serpent and as harmless as a, uh, as a dove, man. As wise as a serpent and as harmless as a dove. You know that a serpent sometimes is just ready to strike you, man. All right, you're not gonna put your hand in front of a, 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 a rattlesnake, especially not a baby rattlesnake, you know? You're not gonna put your hand in front of a baby rattlesnake. One, they can't control the venom they have, man. And that's the same way you should look at these people, all right? These people are nothing but babes. That's why when we first came into the truth, we were nothing but babes, man. So that's how we ought to look at the, uh, at the people, the heathen. All right, because two thirds of Israel are still considered heathen, man. They might be Israelites by blood, but they're still considered heathen because they're not following what Yahweh uh, uh, is or has ordained to follow, you know. So, you know, you, you're not gonna go up to a serpent and, and put your put your hand there so he can bite you, because the baby rattlesnakes they can't control how much venom they put into their prey, man. Because they're supposed to do that to paralyze them to to an extent, all right, to harm them, so they can eat them. But a baby rattlesnake, man, that mother, he just throws everything at you. Everything he's got, you know, and it'll kill you much faster than, than a grown rattlesnake because the grown rattlesnake has that wisdom. He knows how much venom to spit. You see, and you might get yourself knocked off by, by trying to convince people, man. You know, it says uh, verse seven, the world cannot hate you, but me it hateth because I testify of it. That the works thereof are evil you see so this is an evil world man this is an evil world and like it says in uh sarak chapter 10 you know you know the, the 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 place that you uh the place of concourse by the ruler man you know so point in case uh babylon the great america you know the ruler he ain't nothing but a wicked ass man the rulers of the world ain't nothing but a bunch of wicked ass men so the whole world is evil man it's contaminated polluted with wickedness all right it says go ye up unto the fast i go not up yet unto the the feast salakia for my time is not yet full come 
when he when when he had said these words unto them he abode still in galilee but when his brethren were gone up then went he also up unto the feast not openly but as it were a secret you know so you can't be doing a lot of things openly like look at me i have a bunch of fringes on you know i follow the law statutes and commandments all right and you might show you might show that you follow the law statutes and commandments all right but you're not doing the most important things man you know it says uh then the jews sought him at the feast and said where is he and there were much murmuring among the people concerning him for some said he is a good man others said nay but he deceiveth the people and that's what that's what people are afraid of man people are not afraid of yahab hashim was shy more than they are afraid of being deceived you see what i'm saying because when i was growing up i wanted to fear yahab hashim was shy i didn't know the names all right but i wanted to fear but i was more afraid of being wrong than following yahab hashim was shy the truth you see eventually the truth found me yahweh shy uh yahweh bashim yahweh shy found me all right i did not find them they found me all right by his by by their men or man in this case you know it says how be it no man spake openly of him for fear of the jews you see so people fear fear people more than they fear the most high man Oh man, I, I I couldn't be out there preaching, man. I, I'm too afraid of what people are gonna say. And that's why Yahab Hashim Yahweh Shai didn't choose you. But even some people that are afraid to go out and speak, some people that are afraid to go out and, and, and teach, hey, what did Yahweh Shai, Yahab Hashim Yahweh Shai do to his men? Alright, you had Moses that led the Israelites out, but the Most High was like, I'm your mouth, man. I'm gonna be what you need. I'm all you need. You know, it says now about the midst of the feast, Yahweh went up into the temple and taught and the Jews marveled saying, how knoweth this man letters having never learned, you know, so we, we might not be, you know, with, with degrees and, and bachelors and PhDs and this and that on the scriptures. All right. Physically, but in reality, the elders and apostles have been teaching us, man. All right. And they're the only ones that could break down the scriptures like they break them down. You see? It says, uh, Yahweh Shai answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. And that's why this doctrine makes perfect sense, man. And that's why you have Christianity that it has a bunch of loopholes and, and you know, you go back and forth in different places and then you're blocked in one and then you have to go a different route so you have to make something up. That's how these other religions are, man. But Yahweh Shai's religion was whole, which is this religion or this doctrine that we follow, man. You know? It says, if any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine. So if you want to follow the correct doctrine and you're too afraid to be wrong, hey, follow Yahweh Shai, man. Start at the basics. You know? Start at the basics, follow Yahweh Shai, and guess what? The doctrine eventually is going to find you, man. Wisdom is going to find you, you know? And how is it going to find you? Well, you just got to read the scriptures because it tells you that he's going to pour out uh, doctrine as, as prophecy. So you got to pay attention to those that are prophesying, you know? Those are the men of, of Yahab Hashim Yahweh Shai. And it starts out with Elder Tahar and Elder Gabar, Elder Aramlab, Elder Raka, and Great Millstone, man. You know, it says, whether it be of the most high or whether I speak of myself, he that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his own glory that sent him, the same is true and no unrighteousness is in him. All right. So this was kind of like a shot at his brothers that were saying, you know, you, you want to go out there and speak about yourself and do this, this and that. Go ahead and do it. Make yourself known to the world. All right. But Yahweh was talking about the truth, man. It says, did not Moses give you the law? And yet none of you keep it the law. Why go ye about to kill me? You see? So Yahweh Shai was like, which one of the, 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 the laws are you killing me for? You know? But some of them didn't understand because he was he was sending straight shots, man. It says the people answered and said, Thou has a devil. Why? Because they didn't understand. It says, Who goeth about to kill thee? You know? They're looking at him like, man, nobody wants to kill you. The same thing with the brothers. All right, the brothers might be out there preaching, saying, you know, you people hate us. You guys want to come up against us. 
all right eventually you guys are gonna try and kill us persecute us and everybody looks at us like we're fucking crazy all right and yeah it may not happen right now but we're speaking through the spirit man because these things are gonna happen all right these things are gonna happen it says yahweh shai answered and said unto them i have done one work and ye all marvel moses therefore gave you circumcision not because of it not not because it is of moses but of the fathers and ye on the sabbath sabbath day circumcise a man if a man on the sabbath day receives circumcision that uh, that the law of moses should not be broken are ye ain't are ye angry at me because i have made a man every wit whole on the sabbath day all right so people trying to get at yahweh shy because he healed a man on the sabbath day but yet if a baby's born eight days later when you have to circumcise circumcise a baby and it falls on the on on the sabbath day you still have to circumcise that baby all right so yahweh shy was like man you breaking the law too because when you break one you break all of them it says um judge not according to the appearance but judge righteous judgment all right so you are supposed to judge people man not judge not judge people like you have some judgmental ass you know people that oh man look at that dude's shoes man that dude's probably a dumb ass that dude's probably this this and that all right that's wicked judgment man you judge differently you judge by the spirit you look at somebody and he may have some ugly ass shoes and he may have some raggedy ass clothes but that man is a righteous man and you look at him you say that man is good all right but like yeah how was i saying we, we got to humble ourselves you know it says uh then said some of them of jerusalem is not this he whom they seek to kill but lo he speaketh boldly and they say nothing unto him do the rulers know indeed that this is the very Mashiach? All right, so now people are starting to question Yahweh Shai, like, yo, th this guy's speaking really boldly like if he was the Messiah. Howbeit we know this man whence he is, but when Mashiach cometh, no man knoweth whence he is. All right, so they're looking at him like, yo, okay, well, we understand that the Messiah is coming and people are not really going to know who the Messiah is. All right, they're not going to know who he is. All right, but this guy, we know this guy. He may speak good and everything, but we know him. Then cried Yahweh Shai in the temple as he taught, saying, Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am, and I am not come of myself, but he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. But I know him, for I am from him, and he hath sent me. Then they sought to take him, but no man laid his hands on him, because of his hour was not yet come. And many of the people believed on him, and said, When Mashiach cometh, Will he do more miracles than these, which this man hath done? All right, so some people are, are, are thinking spiritually and thinking like, man, this man is a great man. He's doing great things. He's doing things that the Messiah would do. When the Messiah comes, is he going to do more messianic things than Yahawashai? All right, and that's when people started being split up, man. And that's what we're doing with this word, you know, preaching this word, whoever to whomever it, it may concern, all right, uh, of truth's sake, they're going to follow. They're going to follow you. How about Shemia was shy? But to those that want to forbear this truth and say, you know what? I don't believe in what you're saying, man. Then that's fine. Don't believe. All right. There's a judgment for you, man. There's a doors. You see? So as you read on in this, in this um, uh, chapter, uh, you have a lot of people that start dividing themselves, man. Even the Pharisees and the scribes started dividing themselves. You know? A lot of people are going to be uh, uh, divided, man. All right? But the house of the Lord, the tabernacle, all right, which means house. All right? The house of the Most High, which is Israel. More specifically, the house of David, which is the elect. They're not going to crumble. All right? They're going to stay strong. Because a house divided cannot stand. So I hope that was edifying. And with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth to rule well. Shalom, Akim, and stay strong out there. Shalom.